All right, special edition of the Elvis Cup Guy YouTube video channel. Elvis Presley inducted into the Army, March 1958. Sit back, put on your damn seat belts, and the shit's gonna start now. Hey, Elvis Cup Guy here. Hey, you guys are gonna wanna stay tuned and watch this entire video all the way through. This particular video has a specific, believe it or not, theme, and it is Elvis in the Army. More specifically, when Elvis was inducted into the Army and processed in March of 1958. I've got some very rare film footage of that day that is rarely seen. So what I'm gonna do is, I've, I think I've got maybe three different segments. So I'm gonna put those segments in, and this is me illustrating it, a segment here, here, and here, but you know, beginning, middle, end. And in between, I'm gonna show a few items from my personal collection, Elvis collection, that are related to, or directly related to Elvis being in the army. So anyway, watch this entire damn video all the way through, hold up, hold up, hold up, damn Elvis Cut Mobile is right back here. But anyway, watch this video all the way through and you're gonna see rare footage of Elvis being processed, Elvis uh, taking up admittance exam, uh, Elvis, uh, his physical, his parents, his mom. Some of the, 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 the footage is silent. Some of it has uh, audio, but you're gonna want to watch the whole thing. And hey, each clip isn't that long, two or three minutes. So anyway, you're gonna see some rare stuff that you normally don't see. But anyway, watch the whole thing. And like I said, some of my collection is gonna be dispersed in between the video clips. But anyway, the shit starts now. guys keep watching there's a lot more stuff coming up right now okay what i'm getting ready to show you right now is a very rare poster advertising elvis presley appearing on stage magically while he was in the army and it's a real damn poster and it's really from like 1958 maybe early 1959 but it's a rare personal appearance poster of Elvis Presley appearing on stage while he was in the army? You're not gonna believe this shit. Anyway, it's gonna start now. As you can see here, I've got a poster. 
extra on stage, Elvis Presley mystically transformed direct from an army direct from army base. It's real, not a movie. And I'll pan back so you can kind of see the size of this thing. As you can see, if I hold it, put my hand up on it, the size of it. But this is a poster from 1958. And this poster is from a show that was done, 58, maybe early 59, by this guy. He's the guy that brought you Elvis Presley appearing on stage in 1958, maybe early 59. The mighty Karakum. And he was a former vaudeville act. And starting in the mid to late 50s, mid 50s, he had a traveling show called part of a spook, the Spook Show circuit that would actually... Um, go around to different theaters, especially here in the South, and I'm here in the South, Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, back then, a lot of movie theaters had a stage on them, so they could kind of double as a theater where you could actually have other kind of shows, not just a flat screen where you go in and, and pay to see a movie. You could actually use the stage for other things, and he had a traveling spook show where they did magic and a lot of other things. Well, part of his spook show that he had, uh, what he would do is he would have a negative image shown uh, of a person. But usually it was uh, like a sensational kind of thing where um, he would actually get a negative image. It was a, it was a variation of an optical illusion whereby you stare at a high contrast negative image for 30 to 60 seconds and then you look away or close your eyes and you see the positive image imprinted on your retina. The ghost maker, in this case, the mighty Karakum, would then have the audience stare at the negative image of uh, Elizabeth Taylor or uh, James Dean and uh, after a sufficient amount of time, he would black out the theater. And then, as soon as you would black out the theater, and you'd been staring at this negative image, then, all of a sudden, a positive image of what you were looking at would appear. So, all he did, in this case, was his traveling spook show. He had a picture of Elvis from the Army. And during his show, uh, he would put the, the uh, contrasted image up. You didn't really know what you were looking at. And you would stare at it for 30 to 60 seconds. And then they would flip the house lights off. And then all of a sudden, you would see a positive image of Elvis on stage. And in this case, he was in the Army. So people were able to whether Elvis was at basic training or he was already overseas in Germany, somebody could sit somewhere in the South in a movie theater and see Elvis burned in their retinas uh, as an optical illusion. <clears throat> Gentlemen, when I call your name off, just stay here and raise your hand. Daniel Gilmore. My case, or my cue, yeah. William Cobb. Yeah. Presley Elvis. Yeah. Yeah. Wiggins. Yeah. William Ray. No. No. Yeah. no. Christopher, Timothy, June, Frank. Talk to you today, as we already know. First thing you're going to do, if you haven't been here in the last three months, you're going to go down and get a physical checkup. After that, you'll 
be processed by fingerprinting and then issued serial numbers, papers typed up, and then you get sworn in later today. The medics will come up and take care of you, have your papers filled out pretty physical. All right, what I'm going to show you now is a collection I have of rare Dutch trading cards. Some people call them Holland trading cards. Some people call them Dutch trading cards. But they were made from, you know, maybe 56, 57. Uh, they're really popular up until uh, the early 60s. They continue to make them throughout the 60s and maybe even into the early 70s. But the ones I have uh, are mainly from 57 to about 63, 64. But the reason I'm going to show you these is a lot of them were made during the time that Elvis was in the military. And since this particular video has a, 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 as a subject matter, Elvis uh, uh, being in, inducted into the Army there in March 1958, I thought I would show you some of these cards. So anyway, I'm not going to spend a lot of time. I'm going to just flip through them real quick. Some of the ones that I have, but I have, you know, over 120, 130 of these Dutch cards. But a lot of them are army uh, uh, based, or, or you know, the, the subject matter is Elvis in the army. So a lot of the photos are from that era. And don't forget, after this little clip, I'm gonna show you these damn cards. Keep watching more of of the rare footage of Elvis being inducted, processed into the army, March 1958. So anyway, I'm gonna flip this camera around and show you some of these cards. Okay, I got this camera flipped around, and what I'm going to do is show you some of these uh, cards I have. Now, I've got quite a few, as you can see, the big stacks of them, but I've uh, taken out the ones, or set aside the ones that are actually uh, Elvis in the military, these Dutch or Holland uh, trading cards. Most people refer to them as Dutch, anyway. So, now, don't mistake these right here. These are the 1956 Elvis Presley Enterprise or uh, Enterprises cards. But I'm not going to show you those now, but i got a bunch of those. But these are just in the same box. But anyway, just to show you what some of these look like, the, the ones that are not uh, military. You know, you can see that's what, King Creole, some uh, photos from 57, Jailhouse Rock, Jailhouse Rock, Loving You. It's like a Jailhouse Rock session, King Creole, just a photo shoot, uh, King Creole. Anyway, some, you, you see what I'm talking about. It's an early publicity shot. But... To keep uh, along with the theme of this video, which is Elvis in the military, uh, specifically the, the day he was inducted uh, in March 1958, I'm going to show you these cards. So here we go. These are just really interesting. And, uh, you know, these aren't easy to find here in the U.S. But here, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll move them over here. 
And I'll just go through them real quick. They're kind of cool. Some have things on the back, some don't. But there's a cool, here, I'll zoom in a little bit. Okay. Now don't look, guys, bear with me just a minute. I'm not going to take long. That one. That one. That's cool. Check it out. Cool. Looks like he was in Paris on that one. Okay. That. That one. Holding the guitar. Now some of these might be from GI Blues. That one is, of course. Okay. And a few different companies made these over there. Um, and sometimes they would reissue them in different series or quite a few different series of these things. Uh, look, there's, uh, Elvis with, uh, Bill Haley. All right. There's one right there. Look, they wrote their name on the back. Katarina. Okay. That one on the train. I think he's on a train. That's from GI Blues. All right. There he is in a damn tank. Okay. Um, there he is with a duffel bag. Looks like another Paris, uh, when he went on leave to Paris one of those times. We went to the Lido Club and all that stuff. Uh, there's that one. Uh, check that one out. I don't know if I've ever seen that photo anywhere else other than on this damn card. Okay, anything on the back? Nope. And last one, check it out. K18. Like I said, they issued these a few different series and sometimes they would change the color or the the uh sometimes it would be a different tint and they would change the, the color of what he was wearing you know just to uh, you know change it up for the different series All right guys keep watching there's a lot more stuff coming up right now You're watching the Elvis Cup Guy YouTube channel for great, rare videos and photos of Elvis and great Elvis stories. You'll love this channel. So we hope that you would like it. Hit the, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and enjoy some wonderful Elvis stories. We hope you appreciate the channel. God bless y'all.